this one I made. This was a baby doll that head broke off. So we took a cat puppet and kind of attached it to there. Can I be totally honest with you? It's a little scary. It's what I've been told. <laughs> I have to turn this guy on. This is probably one of my favorites. Hillary just found him. We are at Redner's Rescue Cat Figurine Museum located in Menominee Falls. This is where I hope to uh, raise money for cat shelters around the Milwaukee and Waukesha County area. We just started collecting cat figurines and cat art because we have six at the time cats and we just thought it was fun and something to do. Right around November of 2018 is when we bought our first little art piece in there. The very first thing that we bought, this is Taffy. Well, there's easily over 2,000 different items. This right here is our wall of other people's cats. We figured if they were loved enough to be framed, well, they can be loved enough here. And they're just cute and they're adorable and there, here they are. You don't have a whole lot of wall space left. Are you planning on collecting oh, more? I'm glad you asked, because my wife loves when I say this. They're going to be hung on the ceiling. <laughs> the pictures are going to cover the ceiling, because if you Google Cat Museum, I can't let you down. And the hopes that we can help raise money for the smaller shelters that really, really, you know, we're 50 bucks or 100 bucks will really make a difference to them. We currently have seven cats. All of them have come either off the street, two of them come off the street. The other ones have come from the, the rescue groups around here. I feel like I have, I have a voice. Like this is, you know, like what I was supposed to do. Like, you know, it's not, it's not this, I'm not saving the world. I'm just doing one little cat at a time. And if that's what it takes to, to keep moving forward, I just, I don't know, it fills my heart. Like, this is what I think I should be doing. And hopefully my museum is, is the, the vehicle to get me to, to saving the cats. People are willing to let him go either due to lack of space or lack of interest. I'm willing to take care of him and, and, and really just show him off because this stuff doesn't, this shouldn't be in a box. This house is going to be on the map. We are going to be on Atlas Obscura. We're going to be a, a tourist destination. I'm really thankful we're only two blocks off the highway, which really helps. It, we will be open, Redner's Rescue Cat Fig and Reed Museum will be open again on August 16th between noon and 6 p.m. It's a $5 donation. Kids 12 and under are free. Reservations are highly encouraged and a mask will be required for entry. Please give us a call. We'll be happy to take your reservation. Make sure we have plenty of space for everybody. Hope to see you then.